Welcome back guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Sorry about some of the audio. Uh, I was getting, trying to get used to the mic. Had to turn around, trying to get used to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the footage at RHC Specialties. Rumor has it another one's coming soon. Uh, not much going on in this video, but I cleaned up the 32. Right there. Buffed it out. Washed, waxed, and I went for the uh, tire paint there again. Well, not again. The first time the 32 has it. So I'm going to do a little trial period because I daily the 32. I'm going to see how long the tire accent paint lasts. Uh, because, yeah, I don't drive the 33 that much. And speaking of the 33, the video is not about it, but uh, I'll be taking it back here soon. Just a little slight bug. If you've seen in the videos, my car would only go to like 7,100 RPM. But it holds all that power. But that's going to be fixed here at the end of the month. So it's just a quick little cam angle sensor replacement. And yeah, speaking of it, there's the 33 right there. But today's video is about the 32. All right. Quick startup. Yeah. So I'm just driving to a place that has some good sun, not much people around, so I can just walk around the car and tell you basically all the things I've done to this car. I've been wanting to do a video like this when I originally first started trying to YouTube, uh, probably like five years ago. Um, but yeah, this is a walkthrough of my Nissan Skyline R32 GTST Type M. Yeah, I had this car for almost seven years. Uh, I've been leaning towards maybe selling it here shortly. I don't know. Uh, it's it's up in the air. Just a thought right now. But a lot of memories in this car. In any case, I washed it up, cleaned it all up, and the 32 definitely deserves a, a video of its own. So we're just driving, seeing where to go. One of these days as well I'll, uh, I'll have someone drive the car and get like a third person view of the car driving because I don't know this car does look pretty good so
so we made it somewhere. Uh, I'll try and get a little better spot, but everywhere's crowded. But you can see the waterfront out there. Got this nice tree. Anyways, do the walkthrough. Start with the inside. So of course I had to upgrade the radio. It's the Kenwood Double Din with a backup camera. So that's a nice little touch. Got an NRG shift knob. Honestly, like it fits good, but I don't really like it because it just started fading and cracking there, uh, just from the heat. But other than that, it works great. And then got the red stitching shift boots. Try to come up with a little theme on the inside. Flip lights because it's known that the light switch burns out on the 32s. Probably replaced this thing like two times, three times. So I just bypassed it. Got a Blitz turbo racing gauge here. I went with the NRG steering wheel quick release. So that's pretty cool. Take it off. Pretty known. I actually just refinished all this, so got that painted. All right, quick little change of scenery. Yet, you know, as I was recording, there was no one around me, and then of course, some truck has to pull up like right next to me. And while I'm trying to talk, makes it all awkward. Uh, so it's hard to get hyped about it. So. You know, I said, screw it. Let me find this little place out here, just down the road. Yeah, let's go ahead and continue with the walk around. Talk about the GTS T32 a little bit. Now let's go to the outside. So obviously, the car is blue. It wasn't always blue. I'll try to, I'll try to put a picture over here somewhere, or maybe over here. Anyway, uh, when I got it, it was black. It went through quite a transformation. So. We'll start with the back here. It had the GTST spoiler. I'll try to put a picture of that too. Um, anyways, GTST spoiler. So I had to cover up the holes because they mounted on the outside, middle, and over here. And took that off. Put the GTR spoiler on. Makes it look look good. Of course, the back of camera right here. You got the exhaust system. The skylines they all have the rear steering on them and then the gtrs and gt4s are four wheel drive or all wheel drive so this is gtst type m so it's just rear wheel drive but it had the hydraulic rear steering i went ahead and took that out let's see if i can get it under here so i did the hikest delete you can see it right here and then there's no power steering reservoir or anything uh wait it's adjustable it's a silver bar that i can't get my other hand there but i did that on both sides and then of course the exhaust The GTST hoods, you know, they come up all over and they cover up the grill here, right here. So I got a Saibon GTR hood and I had to do some modifications to get it to fit with the latch, but I did that. And then uh, a GTR, oh, I still got some wax on there. GTR front grill. And this is actually the Type M bumper. And I actually have, uh, a GTR bumper that I'm refurbishing, gonna try to work on. Hopefully it works out. I'm not gonna show you, but I got them from Tom. You met Tom before. He has that gunmetal GTR 32. I'll talk about it here in a minute. But he actually gave me these front fenders here. And I painted these on after, like three years after I painted the car or so. But they're actually carbon fiber. They're up from his GTR that I've the actual GTR side badge because uh, the Type M's are just silver if I remember right it's been so long but just trying to do a GTR clone and then because I had the wider front GTR fenders I did the over fenders right here give it that nice wide stance the GTR stance not super wide but with the OEM uh, and then when I got the car it actually had 240 SX wheels from the S13 S14, I don't remember. Uh, well, you'll see in the picture anyways. But my original motor was an RB20, and I blew that like within a few days coming in. It had a huge Garrett turbo on it. Uh, so I had UP Garage do the engine swap for me back in 2014. I'll show you that motor again. Um, but anyways, I took the turbo with the manifold. It didn't fit on the 25, so I just did a trade for these wheels. They're actually originally black right here with a polished lip. Uh, 
So once I painted the car blue, I painted the wheels all black. And then when I wide bodied it, I said, you know, I'm just gonna paint them, uh, paint them gold. I redid the calipers, front and rear. Red with the white. On all my other videos, I had those old tires. Finally got some new tires that were matching all the way around. So I did the same thing I did on the 33. And really, I want to see how long it lasts with uh, it being a daily. And then I did new window tint all around. Went to California tint. So yeah, when I got this car, it was almost like, it wasn't a shell or nothing was in the center console, no speakers. So I got some, got some Infinity speakers in there. And to start it off, I did front mount and a cooler, of course. Uh, so here's under the hood. I actually did not get around to cleaning this. So my apologies. So I got a GTR tower strut. And again, I got that piece from Tom. You know, gave me the fenders. Uh, and well, I got this popped. So he had his car in Japan. We'll, we'll do a story on his car uh, in person. But anyways, he had his car in Japan. He had a snowbank or, or something of that nature. He had these fenders on and then it actually got pressed in. Broke. Front bumper got broke. And yeah, so I ended up snagging them from him, repairing it as much as I could. So I'm going to repair the front bumper now that I finally got that and hopefully have a full GTR look looking front end. So of course, RB25, I had UP Garage do that for me. I love it. It's, you know, single turbo. Uh, the reason why I went with the 25, I thought about building the 20 up, but since I put a new motor, might as well do something really cool. Or maybe not really cool, but a lot better than the 20. Uh, so the 32s never came with the 25, they came with the 33, so a little newer. So I went ahead with the 25. It was about like 2014 was probably like 2500 less than uh, 26 and like maybe 80 horsepower difference and th this car is already stripped down super light that i just went ahead and saved some money so i could do some other stuff to the car gfb adjustable blow off valve i already showed you guys that in a previous video gtr 33 aftermarket radiator and then the front mounted cool you already saw that and then, uh, yeah, I need a new battery. Don't pay attention to that guy. But I did HID's uh, kit and has a flash ECU. That is the car right there. My first Skyline had this early 2014 in the US. It'd be hard to get rid of this car. Like I said, I'm contemplating whether to sell it soon, but now I'm going to do the bumper and we'll go from there. So I'll go ahead and do some uh, cinematic walking around the car get some get the music going you know i just don't really drive this around when it's clean it's usually always dirty because it's the daily now it doesn't get to stay in the garage as much anymore it's it's really sad but yeah this is the one that got me into two skylines this is actually my second nissan but my first skyline and i got the 33 all that's left the 34 right <laughs> we'll see i don't know i, I don't really want to fork out that money if even if I could fork out that money, I'd probably get a better platform to be on.
Well, awesome. There we go. There you have it, guys. I mean, that's that's my daily right there. You know, I can't complain, right? That's a look at my Nissan Skyline GTST R32 uh, Type M. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I'm thinking. Get rid of it. I don't, I don't know. I have a friend that wants to buy it. Actually, I have a couple friends that are interested, but I don't know if I could let it go. I had this car for so long, like I said, since 2014. I think that's like seven years now. I don't know. I'm not good at math. Oh, yeah. So, upgrade a fuel pump, too. So, yeah, I know there's some other things I'm forgetting about this car. I did a lot to this car, as you can see. And that flake on that, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it is a beautiful blue. Love the color, like I said, originally black. I'll show some pictures of what it used to look like, but I'm really happy with it. And can't wait to get that GTR bumper on there. I missed out, Tom picked up his car. Shout out to you, Tom. Uh, especially for hooking me up for so many parts on this car. Uh, yeah, cause he used to live in Japan. He had his car in Japan, bought it, bought it in Japan. Shipped it over here for a long time. Met him in 2014 and they were like, so we went ahead and picked up his GTR 32 from UP Garage as well. And he got the boost up. So I'm super excited for him. He loves it. New suspension work. So uh, I'll get him one of these days. We'll do a full walk around in his car and show you it. Like it, I really like his car, the gunmetal GTR 32. But yeah, I'll show a little clip after he picked it up driving by right now. I'll give you a little sneak peek of his car. Uh, it's been a long time. I mean, you can look at the old videos from like four years ago when I posted, but those videos suck. I didn't know what I was doing. Still learning the process, but man, it's, I think I got a little better with my videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's just the quick little sneak peek of my 32 that I had for so long. And I want to do a walk around while it's clean, nice and clean. As always, you guys take care and have a good one.